All right, today we got Sydney and Kyle, and we are going to demonstrate the use of Brake Buster to clean the tire and the wheel, yep. and then we're gonna follow up by using our gel tire dressing wipe and shine. Yes. And basically the concept is to take kind of a show car wheel, right? How you would address that, how you would clean it, and how, a great way to, to make it shine at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray the brake buster. So I'm gonna start by spraying it on the wheel. And as you guys can see, this wheel isn't super dirty, so I'm not gonna put a ton of product on there. But you'll notice the tire is super dirty. So for this one, I'm gonna put it on a little bit heavy. And you're gonna see that start to soak in. It's gonna to start to bleed brown, get all that gunk off the tire. That's pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna let it soak on the tire and I'm gonna go ahead and just start cleaning the wheel. And so for that- So Sydney, how long do you like to let it soak? Um, I like to let it soak on the tire a good minute or two. Um, if it's really dirty, which I think this tire's gonna um, clean up just fine. I think Kyle's got your brush. <sighs> All right, <laughs> I'm gonna use the new um, Detail Factory synthetic brush. And the reason I'm choosing this one is just because this is a show car and these wheels are in excellent condition. They're not gonna need a real heavy scrub. So I'm gonna use the softest brush that we have. So I'm just gonna come in here and make sure we get any dirt off there that maybe you can't see. Get that kind of all worked around. And then when we rinse this off, it's gonna rinse off real nice. All right. And these brushes are great. They're gonna get in all those lug nuts, all the little spaces that dirt's gonna be trapped. All right. And we're just gonna let that soak. And now I'm gonna let Kyle scrub the tire for us. She gets the pretty job, I get the dirty job. <laughs> of All course, right. I had that well planned out. Yeah, no problem. So we're gonna use our <laughs> other detail factory brush and I may use this little stiffer brush on the white walls. It's a little easier. I wanna do this. Now this is a boar's hair brush, so we're gonna get a little bit more scrub out of it. So, I mean, you're using kind of a soft brush, but that's because, you know, this is a, we're concerned about the tire, right? We wanna- yeah, I don't wanna damage the tire. You know, this is a classic car. And uh, actually, Damn. I detailed this car a couple years ago cool. and spent some time on these. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double check. I spray a little bit. Right on the white walls. You're gonna to need to hit those white walls with kind of something stiffer, right? Yeah. And see how it's reacting. Right. So I'll come in with this. You can see the white walls are still bleeding. A little bit of orange. And hit with a stiff brush. Just be careful to avoid hitting that ring. Now also, you, know, you can see Brake Buster is doing pretty good on the rim, but if it starts to dry, I'm just going to keep it wet. Obviously, temperature plays a role in that. Say we're out at a car show and you're having to do this, which you have had to do. You got to make sure you're mm -hmm. yep. keeping everything wet, right? Yeah. Um, yes. So that's pretty stiff brush. That's as clean as they're going to get without me using something more abrasive. So if you could hand me that yeah. hose. Thank you, Sydney. Time to stand up. <laughs> So now we need to get these tires dry. Yep. Slightly dry, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because we're going to use. I mean, you can apply wipe and shine wet, mm -hmm. but ideally you're going to get better performance if it's dry, exactly. right? Exactly. So this is the gel dressing that we're going to use. Yeah. And this is my favorite tire dressing. So, um, like they said, wipe and shine can be applied to wet or dry towel or tires. Um, normally in my shop, my, the tires would have you know, five minutes to dry off a little bit. But so for time's sake, I'm gonna pat them down with the towel just so that they're not soaking wet. And then I'm also gonna dry the wheel. Look 
get some of that water off there. All right, so I will hand that to you. Okay, so we are gonna use the um, a green tire brush. And this one, you can tell has already been seasoned. So they always work best when they've been a little bit seasoned. And what that means is just that there's been the, app, the product on there before. And so the nice thing about doing this method is that you're gonna keep it off the wheel versus like a spray. And so, oh, goodness gracious. So I'm just gonna load up my brush and we're gonna start at the edge and work our way around and we're just kind of painting that tire gel on the tire. And what's great is it doesn't take a lot of product. And if you can see that, that's why I like this brush. It fits right down in that groove. So you're not leaving any dry spots on the tire. And it just goes on so nice. And wipe and shine is gonna leave the tire with a dressed appearance. This is all gonna soak in kind of to a matte satin finish. And it's just gonna make the tire super black and just keeps them protected. And it lasts for Gosh, a good couple weeks, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. um, and then the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that towel one more time and just clean up any drips or smudges that I had. And we are done. So there you there go. go. Yeah. Brake buster and wipe and shine. Yeah, so Cleaning easy. the show car tire. Yep, awesome. So we will come back at the end and show you what it looks like in 10 minutes.